Hey everybody, we finally made it to Houston. Well, Lisa in the mean, back. Um, yeah, I yeah. am. We're um, about to catch a Uber because my best friend is apparently still at work and then we about to, you know, the city up. So let's see what's up. Y'all know how I am when I'm having a good time. So I forgot to say y'all, I finally met up with my best friend. We're having authentic Mexican food because it's only right in Texas. <laughs> She's a camera shot. Okay guys, so I'm gonna pre-warn you. It's gonna be in your video. I'm not gonna be able to <laughs> vlog a lot in the car because it's not desired for me because to turn like off to the music. To the music when they're driving. In the car. They don't understand us, That's guys. That's why they put radios in the car. I'll insert their social media so you guys can bash them. Cause you know, if there's no media, love here, you so can't be here, correct? Don't do that. I'll All right, me. so <laughs> she says she's gonna call the police on y'all. But we're on the way to a uh, Zumba class that a uh, Zumba workout class that my best friend picked um, picked out for us. So I pick out. I go to it every weekend. She goes to it every weekend. I look crazy, but it's okay. We are gonna fix that later. All right. See y'all at the class. Time again to do my favorite thing, eat. So this is BNC Cafe. I think she said it's like a poke bowl type of place.
Okay, everybody, so we just finished a little shopping. Um, I don't know if, well, for sure, my best friend is not gonna go out anymore tonight. I might go out tonight. Um, I'm not sure. We kind of had a bad situation at Seaside Lounge, which I'll probably go into depth about later. I'm not trying to bash anybody or anything, but I like to let y'all know what's up so that if y'all ever want to go out and, um, you know, have a good time, what to avoid, what not to avoid, where you're going to have a good time, where you're not. So I probably will like go into detail about that later, but just keep y'all updated with this vlog for now. Okay, so made it back to the crib. Quick little story time of what happened at Seaside Lounge. So Seaside Lounge, you know, I do my research when I go out. I try to find like the cool or like trendy bars and lounges to go to so I could see what's up, get my own impression of it and then let y'all know how it was. So it was really cute, very photo op -y. You know, that's a big thing. So there's a lot of photo ops. I'm gonna try to put this down because I don't feel like holding it. Okay. So very cute, a lot of photo ops. Um, it was like a sea or underwater type thing to it. DJ was good. Food was excellent. Um, when we first walked in, there wasn't like a lot of guidance to where you're supposed to sit. You just have to kind of figure it out for yourself. So, you know, me, I'm proactive. I went to the hostess and I'm like, hey, where do we sit? Like, is it reserved? Can we sit outside? Can we sit inside? You can't do it like that. Outside is like the booths or like the couches. So you have to buy bottles or reserve them to sit there, which they always reserve when we got there. And then inside there was like high top tables and a couple more booths. Um, those were first come first serve. And some of those was reserved as well. Anyway, we literally had to walk around. It was me, my sister, my friend, we split up and we all was looking for a table. And my friend literally caught somebody that was getting up, literally getting up from the table, still had like cups on the table and she sat down. And then somebody came and um, cleaned up the table for us. Now, the bus boys, they were fast. They were picking up stuff as soon as they seen them on the table. But it was like, you really had to fight for a table. You know what I mean? Which was whatever. It's here nor there. There was a lot of people in there, you know? It was popping. Um, it was a good crowd. Didn't really have any problems with anybody in the crowd. Um, that people seem friendly as far as I'm concerned. Like, as far as I know. Uh, people were very fashionable, you know, heels, like people was dressed up, went all out. Some people were chill, some people were super dressed up, but, you know, everybody looked like, you know, they was stepping out. It wasn't like, let me just draw, throw on a big t-shirt and some baggy jeans and sneakers to call it a day. No, you want to put clothes on. Um, so anyways, we ordered from the brunch menu. The waitress had informed us, hey, um, I'm leaving. You need to order food by a certain time. Okay, cool. We made sure we ordered food within that time and we made sure we closed out within that time. So all three of us ordered from the brunch menu. I think we had got catfish. Two of us had got catfish and my sister got French toast. So I'm talking really fast because I don't want this to be drawn out super long. But so our catfish came. She, We all ordered. They put the order in. She said, cool. She brought out the tab. We paid, which we don't usually like to do, but the waitress is super cool. She was super nice, so we went ahead and um, paid for our tie. My best friend and I got our food. We were like, okay, well, we waiting on the food. We waiting on my sister's food. So, okay, at first we was going to wait for her to eat, but, you know, second while, my sister's like, go ahead and eat. Me and my best friend are eating our full meal. The waitress kind of comes, and she's like, hey, you didn't get your food yet? Um, Shh, quiet, guys. So she's like, you didn't get your food yet? My sister's like, no. So she goes in the back, checks on it. Me and my best friend are still eating. In the meantime of us waiting for us to get my sister's food, we finished our entire meal. And I don't eat that fast. I eat slow. If y'all know me, y'all know I eat kind of slow. We went through the whole meal and my sister has yet to get a meal. We're ready to go at this point. They're doing a shift change. Somebody's like, they have like a day party and a brunch party and then switch over some more like a nightclub-ish vibe, but it's not really nightclub. Somebody came and put a little sticker on our table saying like, this is reserved for later on tonight. We're ready to go. My sister has still not eaten. So my sister goes and tells the manager like, look, I like, I didn't get no food. I'm still hungry. I've been here at this point. I don't even have time to go anywhere else. Like, I need a meal. They say, okay, get something else. Mind you, don't forget, we already paid. They're like, okay, pick something else out on the menu. So my sister's like, bet. Like, you inconvenienced me. I wanted something simple for toast and this and that. But now I want the lobster mac and cheese. And I want, she ordered something else. 
So they was like, oh, you can't get that. It's too expensive. Actually, you know, this is too much of my time, really. So my sister's like, what's too much money? Like, can you give me the French toast instead? What I anticipated on getting, what I paid for, what I was waiting on. Would you prefer to give me the French toast? They was like, no, we can't get you that. So my sister's like, scratch the whole order then. I'm not paying. So my sister didn't want to pay for anything. Like at this point, like y'all wasted our time. I'm still hungry. It's time for us to go. Y'all ready to move us out because y'all have a new set of people coming in. She's like, just, I won't pay for anything. Like just scratch the whole order. They didn't want to give her a refund. So that became a whole big thing. Um, I guess, you know, certain places is just complicated to process a refund. They don't want to do that. So my sister's like, listen, y'all have inconvenienced me. We, me and my best friend has eaten a full meal. We've been sitting here waiting. And now not only do I have to rush and eat, you're telling me that I have to get something that I didn't originally pay for. If they would have said in the beginning when we ordered, hey, this and this is gone, she could have easily just ordered something else. Even after the order went to the kitchen, while me and my best friend was eating, if they would have said, hey, we don't have that, she could have ordered something else. They literally waited until he was ready to walk out the door to come and say we can't get French toast. Well, I'm sorry, y'all, like, you have to, I'm not paying for y'all inconveniencing my time and not communicating what y'all have going on y'all restaurant. And it's not my job to know what's going on with the kitchen, what's, what's in stock. That's not our job. It's on the menu. If you don't tell us it's not there, we think we can order that. So we're trying to explain to the lady, listen, you you inconvenienced us. We had two more activities that we wanted to go to. You know what I'm saying? How we had got our food and then now we could have went to the two other activities. But since we've been waiting here for so long, thinking that we're going to get this French toast that was never going to come, y'all inconvenienced us and you need to compensate us for that. Like, who does that? So we got into this whole thing, you know. I feel like they brought three people to our table to kind of intimidate us, which I didn't like. Um, try to like make us come down off of what we were saying. But unfortunately that doesn't work with me and it definitely doesn't work with my sister. It's the same, we having the same conversation. You need to compensate us for inconveniencing us. Um, so that was my biggest thing. I didn't like how they felt like it, well, we don't have what you wanted and yeah, even though you waited, we don't care, buy something else. I don't like that they did that. Like, we shouldn't be punished for y'all not communicating what y'all are out of when it's still in the menu. And I didn't like how they tried to bring a crowd of people. Like, they brought a really tall, big guy, and it was two girls, and they came out to the table, like, trying to be real rowdy. So, long story short, we argued for a little bit, and they ended up giving my sister another meal or something that she wanted. Quick update. We later found out that the manager charged my sister for both meals because she had the credit card on file, which she never got the first meal. Absolutely trash. Okay, continue. Um, so, just so you know, if you're going to go to the spot, I'm going to let you know. Food's great. It's a cool environment. Good DJ. At least from the day I went, we went on Sunday. Um, but that is how the management system works, you know. You know, eight times, seven times out of ten, you don't usually have to deal with management. So it's not that big of a deal. But if you do have a situation where you have to have a conversation with the managers, that's what you want to deal with. So it's up to your discretion if you feel like you want to go there or not. It's my first time in Houston. It's my first time at the lounge, and that was my experience. So I just thought I'd share that with y'all. But anyways, I just wanted to give y'all that update, my little piece of seaside lounge from in houston texas so that y'all know what's up make sure you comment like and subscribe comment tell me if y'all been there before your experience if you've had experience with that place before like what we just have an off day or has anybody else had that experience at that place before if you know some other spots where you know you good like you know you got good food or you know you're not gonna have no problems comment that in the comment below or dm me on snapchat or write me on my twitter and um yeah like comment subscribe you know this is community we all trying to look out for each other so let me know i'll let y'all know as best as i can in my honest opinion and i will talk to y'all later